everybody, Mike Dukes here. I'm with Eddie. We are with Sophie Ann. She's all just all about being on camera. What do we know about Sophie Ann? Uh, Sophie Ann is super sweet. She is only about eight months old, so she's still got a lot of puppy in her. Um, yeah, you want to play, don't you? Um, I just took her for a walk <laughs> before we came in here, and she was more about you know running and jumping than actually actually doing her business. So, um, but just, just really nice dog. Um, she's good with kids and good with other dogs. Um, I don't know exactly how she would be around cats, but I'm sure she'd probably be fine. She's, she's really friendly and really sweet. Um, as long as you took, took some time to introduce them, um, the cat and, and Sophie Ann maybe gave the cat, like make sure the cat's got a place to get away to like a, you know, a couch to jump onto or something. Um, I'm sure she'd do okay. Yeah. I know you want to get out and play, don't you? Mm -hmm. Don't look at. I can't help you. <laughs> I can't help you. To look at her in the face is one thing, but when you get a profile shot, you can really see the basset hound lineage. She has a very long body. You're very unique looking. So you believe this is about as big as she's going to get? Uh, yeah, she's probably going to fill out some because she's still got that like that long skinny like puppy body <laughs> um but I, I think she'll probably get a little chubbier but she's probably not gonna get any taller <laughs> i told her she looked more like a snoopy instead of you know you just have a snoopy look about you put you on top of a big red dog house be perfect so what would her adoption fee be uh, her adoption fee would be, uh, let's see, one fifty. Um, that's going to include getting her spay neuter, which she's actually set up to go tomorrow morning to get fixed. So tomorrow afternoon, um, she will be available and ready to go home for adoption. Um, but yeah, that's going to include her vaccinations, her microchipping, um, a free bag of food to get you started. Um, really great deal. If you go and piece all that stuff together, you're well up over $300. I know, I know. See, she even she's like, "That's such a wonderful deal. How come nobody has me yet?" I know that is actually a wonderful deal, and I know I harp on this a lot, but just last actually it was today, my wife sent me a a screen capture of a, a group on Facebook. Two different people. I'm looking for a puppy. I'd like it to be this breed or this breed, but I don't want to spend over 50, 75, maybe $150. And I'm just like, wow. Okay, for that amount of money, you can get a great dog. And the benefits, vet visits, 30 days to health insurance. They're already spayed, neutered, all that if you come to the Humane Society and adopt from us. I mean, come on. Look at that face. And you never know what you may find when you come to the Humane Society. We have all kinds of dogs, cats. I mean, you can't see it right now, but I've got a, someone snoozing right there. I've got a little pup over there who's uh, all about... She's looking all sad now and staring at me. <laughs> so just remember that. If you, if you know someone who's thinking they want a, 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 any kind of animal, direct them here. Because you're going to get all kinds of stuff. A great deal and a wonderful pet. One thing I will say too is, um, bassets, they're, they're a lot more active than people think, or maybe this is just me, but I grew up with the image of, in, in my head of bassets as like the dog from Smokey and the Bandit that just like sat there all day. Flash from yeah. the Dukes of Hazard, And they're, they're made to go out hunting. I mean, they, they got, they got energy to spare. What are you doing? So, you know, you don't think about it cause they have the short little stubby legs, but this might be a dog that would go out for long walks or go jogging with you or go play in the park. It is very deceptive because, yeah, TV and movies have kind of got it in our head that these are the kind of dogs they just want to lay around and do nothing. No. No. My friends at Kokomo Toys and Collectibles, they have a basset hound, and they can tell you not the case. And see, this past weekend, you guys were at Petco. Mm -hmm. And now this weekend, you're going to be at the mall? Yep, we're going to be at the Markland Mall from 11 to 3. 
So come out and see us and our adoptable animals that we'll bring out that day. Um, maybe Sophie Ann. Hopefully she'll already be in a home by then, but if not, she might be there because she's a sweetheart and does really good on a leash and loves everybody she meets. Now, is that just Saturday or Saturday and Sunday? Uh, just Saturday. Okay. And then you had mentioned fostering. Mm -hmm. um, we are actually going to be dramatically expanding our foster program. Um, up to this point, we've pretty much just, it's just been kittens and puppies that are too young to be in the shelter um, or animals that have specific health needs that need that extra care. Um, but we're looking at actually expanding to the point where um, maybe dogs that have just been here a little too long and need a break can take like a weekend trip or um, maybe just for the day. Take You can come foster a dog for the day, take them out, um, visit some parks, take them for a, a nice little trip around town. And then they get out and get that socialization they need and um, that enrichment and, you know, make them a little more adoptable for their forever home. So if you're interested in fostering, just uh, give us a call at the shelter. Um, ask for Eddie. You can email me. You can um, send me messages on Facebook to the Kokomo Humane Society page. Anybody that's interested in fostering, give me a call and we'll find somebody for you to take home. <laughs> That's a, a great idea and a great point, actually. I mean, a, a big thing about any dog breed, some's more than others, socialization is key. I have a German Shepherd. Early on, they need to be socialized, and they need to be socialized constantly. Or eventually, you have a dog that is stuck in your house or your backyard because you take them anywhere else, and they get overly territorial. They don't know how to act around other people and other dogs, and that's not what you want. Same deal here. If we've got dogs here that have been kind of stuck here for a while, yeah, we have the puppy play dates, which is great. But still, being able to get out away from the Humane Society, get out around town, the parks, just go to for a drive, that's a treat into itself for these guys. And it helps them out in the long run. And you never know. After a foster, you may decide, okay, I, I need a new animal in my life. So give us some thought. And regardless, Sophie Ann. And she's so soft too. She's she's deceptively soft. She looks like a regular dog, and then you pet her, and it's just like like petting a cloud. See, now that's impetus for you to come to the Kokomo Humane Society because now you have to find out what it's like to pet a cloud. Mm -hmm. Just when you come to the front desk, don't say I want to pet a cloud. Tell me you were looking for Sophie Ann. You know, you want to make sure you get that straight. Yeah, there's like a chance we might actually have an animal named Cloud back there, and then there's all kinds of confusion, and that's not good for anybody. No. Don't want that. So, yes, come in wanting to pet a cloud, but tell them you want to pet Sophie. Right? And I'm telling you, she's just... She's a great-looking dog, but... It, look at her in the face you're gonna think okay this is a, this kind of breed and then when she turns to the side and is standing up she's very long and there's like a little dash hound pup over there i think it was feeling threatened because it felt that it should be the longest dog in the room and it wasn't so come meet sophie ann don't forget mark lamal this saturday 11 to 3 and fostering think about that be great for you great for the pets great all around Give us some thought. Come to the Humane Society, Pet a Cloud, also known as Sophie Ann. We'll see you next week.